Now, as a creator, filmmaker, cinematographer, YouTuber, whatever it is you do, whatever you call yourself, if you make videos, there has to be some point in your career where you want to make your videos look more cinematic, whether you came across a topic on YouTube, in a book, on social media, and you saw other creatives talking about cinematic effects, making their videos look more filmic, you have to have had that urge to also make your videos look more filmic but how it is that you can make your videos look more filmic a lot of persons may say it's the color it's using that long aspect ratio a lot of persons may also say it's a type of camera you use to create your videos and also people will talk about using filters to give your videos that dreamy bloom mist halation whatever it is those kind of creators call it to your videos to make them look filmic or cinematic i'm chevon beckford and in this video i will be talking about how you can use mist filters to make your videos look more cinematic let's go Take this video for example. A lot of persons may say this video looks too sharp, it's not really dreamy, checking the screen on my camera. And to fix this, I would add a mist filter. Now what a mist filter does, it adds a bit of bloom, halation, mist as the name suggests, diffuses the footage and make the video looks less sharp it helps to reduce contrast as well and also helps to smoothen the skin of your talents whenever you're shooting videos and if you use a mist filter and you're pointing your camera to direct light source like right here this is an example this is what the video will look like without the mist filter and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like with my flash with the mist filter one sec now there you go i now have the mist filter on the lens and i don't know if you guys see a difference but i definitely see a difference whenever i'm editing also a rule to note if your camera shoots in log profile it's preferred to shoot in log profile and then add your color grade in post production this helps you to properly expose your footage and see what it looks like without the contrast the baked in shadows and highlights with your mist filter and as i mentioned before this is what the flash looks like with the mist filter and i can see the display on my camera this is a huge difference the flash is now so soft and evenly distributed and it looks dreamy it's as if there is a fog in the room and there's nothing in the room the room is perfectly fine there's no dust mist fog there's nothing it's just the filter also if you guys can look at my skin it's evening out my skin texture so it makes my skin looks a bit soft i have the light over there in the background it's smoothing misting diffusing the light from the light i have over there and making the overall image in this video a bit dreamy and soft in using adobe premiere pro there's no specific effect we can use to give halation like what they have in davinci resolve and i am an exclusive premiere pro and after effects user so using a diffusion filter or mist filter helps to get the job done in a pinch this is our halation effect over here for us premiere pro users and the good thing about it is this is all natural we are not adding anything digital in post straight from the camera so this specific filter that I have using on my camera right now is the KNF Concept 82 millimeter black diffusion, one over four mist filter. So I use the one over four because the one over eight is a bit too weak for my taste. And the one over two is a tad bit too intense. It gives too much bloom. So for me, one over four is the sweet spot. I like the mist, the diffusion I'm getting from one over four on my skin tone, 
the blooming from light sources and the overall mist it provides in my footage so i maybe try the one over two and the one over eight in the future but currently this one is perfect for my workflow and i got the 82 millimeter filter because i like to have the largest filter available so in the sense i get a large lens in the future i can put it onto it but for my smaller lens i'll just get a step up ring so it can fit on all my lens without breaking the bank and buying many of the same filter for all my lenses. When to use a mist filter, I prefer using the mist filters in the nighttime whenever you have light sources and you're pointing your camera to said light sources, it gives that nice halation blooming from the light sources and gives your highlight a nice roll off so you don't have any harsh highlights in your footage especially when you're getting night shots and there are cars passing by a mist filter will work wonders your videos will look so dreamy and cinematic with the use of a mist filter i'm going to show you guys some example now right here here is the before of a street view i got with using my camera the lumix s5 that is with my 85 millimeter lens this is without the mist filter and over here this is with the mist filter now you guys can see the clear difference that the mist filter make in making your videos look more dreamy and cinematic now will you be adding mist filters to your arsenal of filmmaking gear and also photographic equipment you can let me know in the comments below and if you have any tips and how you can make your videos look more cinematic you can share it here so i can take a look add it to my workflow and also so others can see the tips you're providing and utilize it in their workflow as well i'm siobhan beckford and if you found this video interesting feel free to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can see more videos like these from me, Siobhan Beckford, signing out. Bye. Oh, and before I go, guys, if you want the link to the KNF Concept Mist Filter, I'll leave it below. And also, if you want to know where I get the lots that I use to grade my videos, there is also a link in the description for Gamut. That's where I get all my lots. Siobhan Beckford, signing out. For real this time. Is filled with love. My heart is filled.